What is up in the army? And I am Game Nerd 5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome to another power ranking and a special S Star Wars Day edition power ranking. Woo! 16 to 1. This is the third take I'm doing of this, and hopefully this is the good one. Because the first take, I missed two movies. And the second take, I literally messed up the entire intro, which is what you're, what I'm doing right now. And then, um, well, now we're here. Hopefully this goes well. Third time's the charm. So, with that, welcome to my Star Wars Power Ranking. And... Today, we are not just power ranking the movies, as you heard, 16 to 1, which is not the movies. There are 9. That is include, well, there's not 9, there's 11, but uh, not the 9 main episodes. Then I have the two Star Wars stories, which I forgot in take 1. And then we have all the shows spanning from the Resistance to... The Bad Batch, to The Clone Wars, and to The Mandalorian, and Rebels. Like, we have- I'm covering pretty much everything, except the books. And games. All- every, like, um, on-screen stuff will be covered in this ranking. If I am to do a book ranking, I would need help with that. And uh, being that I have not read any of the books. <laughs> So, with that, Power Ranking, the Star Wars stuff on Star Wars Day, May 4th, hopefully. <laughs> and, um, so, with that, let's kick it off. Dead last, number 16 in my list. Nope. Oh. Uh, oops. The Last Jedi is 16th in my list. Might be very cool. This might be one that some people might not agree with. Um, because, well, I think some people would probably rather put The Phantom Menace right here. Or in a trash can. And light it on fire. But, <laughs> anyway. Um, the, the Last Jedi, I actually really di dislike. Um, mostly because... I think so many parts of the film were just so poorly done. The um the sp spot that they had the part of the film that it that uh both Ray and Kylo could constantly see each other like that was the I did not like that at all. And um then uh, I know in uh, episode nine. They did that also, but it was nowhere near as, um, as predominant in episode 9. It was still there, but it, it was barely used. In this one, it was used a lot. And then also the Snoke and the throne room, and... Yeah, there was a lot wrong with this film. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd probably just, um... And said my reasoning as to why it's 16th. So, and then, then, coming in at number 15, probably what everyone's last one would be, and that would be The Phantom Menace. I have The Phantom Menace at 15th, second to last, not dead last, but, um, I'm... I'm okay with The Phantom Menace. There's some parts I don't like. There are some parts I like. So, that's why I just put it here. I didn't want to get pitchforked. And I don't want to start up an angry mob about this ranking. I'm probably still going to. But uh, we'll see when we get to the top three. Uh, well, five. <laughs> anyway, um, episode one. The Phantom Menace in my view, isn't the worst of the Star Wars films. The dumpster fire one is uh, The Last Jedi, in my view. A lot of people, it's probably this. Uh, but, um, 
for me, I just, I really, um, dislike this film, uh, in some parts, but in other parts, I do really like it, like, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with it, I like it, okay, I like it, let's move on, 14th, Star Wars Resistance, the first of the shows to appear in this list, and it's not high up. No, I'm not being mean to the shows. I I like some like three. Well, the Bad Batch is pretty much in the middle because I haven't watched it yet. Anyway, fourteenth Star Wars: The Resistance might be the worst of the Star Wars shows out of all of them. I could have a different opinion after the bad after I watched the first episode of the Bad Batch, but um. I watched, like, two or three episodes of The Resistance, and I did not like it. And that was quite a while ago. Um, I, I don't even know how many seasons it went. I think it went two seasons. Two or three. I can't remember. I think it just went two. Um, that, that's how much I don't follow this, this one. Um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, Resistance at 14th, then, coming up, 13th on the list, oh, what the, Revenge of the Sith, at 13th on the list. Now, this one, I just ran out of space. I will be completely honest, I ran out of space. <laughs> I literally ran out of space for this one. Like, I completely, uh, like, I would have probably put this higher up, but I, um, I ran out of space, so I put it at 13. Some things didn't really, uh, make that much sense to me, and I've watched it very few times compared to some Star Wars films that I've watched dozens of times. <laughs> anyway, um, so, with that, Episode 3 at 13th, and it has a 3 in the number. So, that's ironic. <laughs> um, then, coming in at number 12, at the 12th, number 12 in my ranking. Uh, I could have put this lower, but I didn't. So, uh, yeah. Number 12, Solo, a Star Wars story. I did not like this film. <laughs> I I really didn't. Um, like I I think the storyline was quite choppy. Um, the audio was kind of, like um the train scene was insanely loud. <laughs> I remember that very well. Um, the thing about uh, and something else I don't really understand is why does Chewbacca have a different um like uh. Um, like, I don't know what the name is for it. This thing! You see my mouse on the screen? This thing! I don't, I don't know, I don't know why they changed it. Because in, in Clone Wars he appeared and he didn't have something like that. So, um, it doesn't really make any sense, some of the parts in this film. So, that's why I put it at 12. I could have easily put it right at the bottom. <laughs> I could have easily tied it with 16. But no, I didn't. It's at 12. Could have been lower, but it's at 12. It's not definitely not solo. <laughs> anyway, at number 11. Uh, might be a little controversial here. I did kind of like this film. So, at number 11. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker! Now, I know some people disliked it. I, I, some parts were iffy for me. I did think it was a good way to end the saga. And, uh, yeah. So, it was a good film. Some people I don't think liked it. I liked it quite a bit. And, um, yeah. I think it, it in my view, it, it'll be interesting to see how LEGO tackles it in the game coming. 
uh, because um, that that could be interesting, even more interesting. But um, the Rise of Skywalker not my not my least favorite of the new films, <laughs> which is probably good <laughs> because the Last Jedi, man, <laughs> yeah, the dumpster fire. <laughs> Anyway, um, then, at number 10, I uh, don't know if everyone's gonna agree with me on this one, but at number 10 is the other Star Wars story, and that is Rogue One. I put this one at 10th, mostly because it ran out of space, and I wasn't willing to move anything around. This was one of them that I forgot. The other one I forgot was Solo. So, this one I completely forgot about. I wasn't willing to move anything around up in the top. And so, um, that's why it's here at 10. At 10th. I actually really liked this film. It really filled a gap that I think was actually kind of... It wasn't necessary to fill, but it was a really well done way. It was a very good way of filling in the gap, telling is to say how they actually got the plans for the Death Star. Like it was a very well done film to keep everything together, to literally put ev uh, mix everything and make sure the gap between uh, Ren Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope was smaller. Then the so solo story came out, and, uh, well, that didn't really help. <laughs> anyway, with that, moving on from number 10 to number 9! And I couldn't put, I couldn't with any heart put this next one any lower. Even though I don't really like it. I couldn't put it any lower than what I have. And that is A New Hope. I had to put it here. It's the original one. I just had to put it here. It's not my favorite of the Star Wars films. But I had to put this here because it's, it's A New Hope. It literally is the first ever film. So I had to put it here, I couldn't put it any lower. So at number nine, Star Wars A New Hope, the very first film to ever be fil released. And uh, yeah, even though it was episode four, not one. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so now moving on, number eight, pretty much in the middle. I never moved it. It's probably not in the middle anymore, but in my view, it's still in the middle. And that is The Bad Batch. So this is the new series that is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. I'm probably going to be watching this tonight. I'm recording this on May 4th. So, that's why I literally don't know anything about it yet. I've watched all the trailers. It looks like it's going to be quite, quite good. But, um, it looks like it's going to be kind of... Based off of the Clone Wars and so on. So, The Bad Batch, I do like it quite a bit. It, I I think it, well, I like the premise of the show. We, we saw The Bad Batch a little bit in the final season of the Clone Wars. And uh, I actually really liked that part of that season. So, um... I can't wait to start watching this um, series and see um, how it all, how um, Order 66 affects them, uh, because I know that's what it's going after, and I know from promos we have seen that Rex is in the show, and I don't know how that's going to work. So, um, yeah. Moving on from number 8 to number 7. I could have... Uh, to be completely honest, I could put number seven higher. At number seven, the Clone Wars. Now, this I also just put here because, well, 
I had like six other things more. <laughs> it's pretty much the only reason why it is at seventh. I like the Clone Wars. It really like if I'm if I have nothing to watch on YouTube or or anything else, this will probably this is probably what I go to watch the most. And um, season seven did a really good job at um keep, uh covering pretty much everything that was still kind of patchy. So. Um, it was very well done. It was such a good show to, it was such a good show. They ended, ended it with a probably a amazing final season. Uh, ended it with probably the craziest final two episodes ever. So, um, yeah. At seventh, The Clone Wars. And now coming in at sixth, the last of the new of the um of the of uh well, I will I I'm gonna call it like the new generation ones. Episode seven at sixth. I could have moved it back one and had it be seventh, but I actually really did. I liked a lot of parts of this film. Yes, it's not as good as most of the Star Wars films. I will give you that if you disagree with me and you're already sharpening your pitchforks. But, um, I actually do like this film. Like, so many parts of it I actually always remember and they always spark, like, my imagination. And that, that really has an effect on me. If a film does spark that for me, it will always be high. So, uh, like, um, on Taco Donna, when, the, when the X-Wings are coming in, that is probably one of the most amazing scenes I've ever seen in a film. Like, that was, that was so cool. Especially in the, the when I first watched the film. Like, that was so neat. And then Lego upped it and had stormtroopers on surfboards, pigs. I think there was pigs even flying. I think it was actually a pig in an X-Wing. Like, <laughs> that scene I really like. And, like, um, they did such a good job with this film, in my view. I don't think a lot of people would agree with me on that. But, uh, yeah. Star Wars The Force Awakens at 6th. And then, 5th! <sighs> Return of the Jedi! <laughs> uh, this one at 5th, mostly because I did like the film, just I liked the other four more. Now I know one of the, two of the four are going to be show, final four are going to be shows, that's obvious, and two are films. Now if you are a big Star Wars fan, you know what they probably are, and if you also know me, you probably already know what number one will be. So, Return of the Jedi, just at number five, I could have moved it up, but I liked four more things more. Like, we're at the point that... The we just got past the ones that I liked, but I liked more. I liked others more, so I put them higher, and then I put these lower. And like, it. I guess that kind of makes sense. So, at number four, episode two, Attack of the Clones. Now, I like the Clone Wars. So, of course, I'd like Attack of the Clones because it pretty much started the Clone... It was the start of the Clone Wars. I don't know why I said pretty much was. It was. And the final scene was amazing. Like, the the battle on... The uh, battle on Geonosis, the final, like, big arc... The big part of this film, I think, was when the true clones actually arrived. And, like... It was a, I think this was a very well done film. I know a lot of people don't like, most people don't like prequels. I actually liked this film the most out of the prequel films. And now we are into the final three. 
And at third, in controversial fashion, it couldn't be more controversial than this. Because a lot of people probably put this at number one if you were ranking or be tied for number one with best film. But at number three, The Mandalorian. I really like this. I love this show. I love it. Just something for me is... Or, are all the shows actually really... Do I like all the episodes? No. Some of the episodes I didn't really understand. <laughs> and mostly in season one. Season two I really liked. But season one, I, it was iffy for me. But um, season two I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed like the amount of like um stuff that they could even bring from... Season 2, like, it looks like so many shows are getting based off that. So, uh, like, two, actually. Uh, Book of Boba Fett and, um... Uh... And Ahsoka. Are pre I'm guessing they're pr gonna be based off of this. And, like... I think it was a great second season. Season 1 was okay. Season 2 was amazing. And now... Final 2. And at number 2, I have... The Empire Strikes Back! In my view, the best of the films in the Star Wars universe. I think everyone would agree. Especially with the opening. The... Probably the best fight ever with the walkers that was so cool and um yeah so i really liked empire strikes back it i put it at second is the best film if this was just the nine films it would be number one but it's not the nine films it is included in the shows so with that the number one item on my ranking is Star Wars Rebels! Now, for me, Star Wars Rebels was one of the first things I actually ever, that got me into Star Wars, so of course I put it at number one. I know I could have easily put The Mandalorian at number one also, but this was the main thing that really got me into the Star Wars universe. It was. And. The way they ended it was so, so nice, and it seems like they're going to be wrapping it up soon with another series. If it's live action or animated, we don't know yet, but, um, yeah. Star Wars Rebels at number one, and with that, that is my ranking. Do you agree with me? I'm pretty sure no one will. But, if you, if you do, let me know in the comments. If you don't, also let me know in the comments. If you have a different list, feel, feel free to post it in the comments also. I'd love to see it in uh, the last, ver in last ranking we did. Someone did leave uh, their ranking in the comments. And it, I actually, it was actually very well done. So... If, if you have your own ranking you want to share, just leave it in the comments, and uh, I, I will see it. If I like it, I will like it. <laughs> With that, guys, I am GameNear5 from the NA Army team, signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video, and goodbye!